Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to quick do a, uh, give my thoughts on the heel turn of R-Truth, um, because it's the big news going around, um, him smoking in the UK, which is illegal usually, but apparently it's, it's not illegal because it was in a scripted environment, so I guess that's kind of out of the whatever um but I mean I in the beginning I thought this was a good heel turn you know because he did turn on John Morrison uh, attacked him uh, you know I thought it was a really good heel turn but then raw at the the for the uh, raw the uh, draft he he came out and he says, I forgot where they were, but he did his what's, he said, uh, hate everybody, and then instead of saying what's up, he said shut up, uh, which I thought was kind of cool, kind of a, a, good, a good way to keep his heel turn going, but then a lot of it, it reminded me, it was basically the same thing that Jeff Hardy did on his heel turn, you know, Blaming the fans for his failures, blaming the fans for not getting to where he should be, um, you know, blaming the fans for holding him back. It was basically the same thing that they did with Jeff Hardy on his heel turn. I mean, you know, come on, WWE, don't do that bullshit. Don't copy another. Uh, T don't copy TNA when you say you're so much better than TNA, you know what I mean? Um, I, it, it, you know, for being such a well-known company and for being as, around as long as WWE has been, I would think they would be able to make a storyline and a heel turn without copying another company's heel turn. You know what I mean? And to be honest, R-Truth isn't even as popular as Jeff Hardy. So why, you know, it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Um, and it just pissed me off that they copied that. It was, it, I mean, if anyone thinks differently, let me know. But I, it, to me, it seemed the same thing. It seemed like the same thing, you know, Blaming the fans for his shortcomings and whatever. It was just dumb. But uh, all in all, it was a good heel turn. Um, definitely didn't see it coming. And another heel turn that I did not see coming was Mark Henry at the, uh, the draft. Because I guess he got drafted to SmackDown and... Um, he was in a six-man tag team match, Raw vs. SmackDown, and he turned on his Raw teammates. Um, so that was a good heel turn, too. Uh, well, we'll, see, well, for the match, it was a good heel turn. We'll have to see how they, how they do this heel turn, if they actually use Mark Henry, you know, because half the time... They just use him as a jobber, and he's been in the WWE for so damn long that he deserves to not be a fucking jobber anymore, you know what I mean? He deserves a legitimate career, a legit, you know, title shot or something like that. Not necessarily WWE title or heavyweight title, but like intercontinental title or something, you know what I mean? Um, come on. And uh, one more thing I wanted to go over was, uh, I guess, Big Show and Kane are the new, uh, tag team champions, but one of them is on, I think, um, Big Show is on Raw, if I recall correctly, and, um, Kane is on SmackDown, so I, I, I don't think they're gonna keep them, uh, the belt on them for too long, um, Unless they're going to keep having, you know, Kane go over to Raw and Big Show go over to SmackDown to defend the titles. Um, I don't know.
But then again, I don't know who they're going to put the belts back on or who they're going to put the belts on unless there's a new tag team coming in or if there's a new tag team formed or if they just give them back to um, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel, which I don't have a problem with. Um, I think they're a good tag team. Um, but we'll see. Oh, oh, one more thing. Um... I, I guess we might be seeing the end of the new Nexus because uh, CM Punk's uh, contract is coming is uh, coming up this uh, this year, um, the end of his contract, and I guess he's not coming back to WWE or is taking a break for a while or something. Um, so I guess we'll see if there's any going to be any more Nexus or what they're going to do with that. Uh, since there's there's such a big there's such a big feud between him and uh, Randy Orton, we'll see. Unless the draft ends that, I don't know. But uh, we'll see how all this stuff goes in the coming weeks and months or whatever. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think. Again, alright, guys.